Hello and welcome back to my workshop. Um, this afternoon I'm going to be reviewing a, an air locker um, nail puller. It's what a lot of people call them but that's actually really badly named because the last thing it does is pull nails, it pulls nails, it pushes nails. Actually here it's officially called an air punch nailer. Um, but it's very much for removing nails and it does that by pushing them back through the wood. It doesn't pull them at all, um, otherwise you'd rip the wood. So, um, for this I need an air compressor, which I have done a video, which I'll put a link in the description to that review of my IMAX um, 24 litre compressor. Um, now, um, I've got a separate video, which I'll also put a link to, which I'd really recommend uh, watching, which is all about the connectors that uh, go on the end of the hose, on the end of the compressor, and on the end of your uh, power tool. There are, I reckon, more than 26 different standards, uh, particularly if you're in America, because each of them has a letter assigned to them for the particular profile. And the other day I came across one which was AA, which implies that even 26 letters of the alphabet isn't enough to look to um, to list all the standards. So there are more than 26 different profiles. Um, in the UK, I think unless you're in the automotive industry, you're really dealing with, I don't know whether you can see those, move them in and out in case they focus. Um, these are sort of home workshop hobbyist type uh, profiles. The one on my right is a st PCR standard and the one on the left is an XF and if you look at them end on, again hopefully the camera can focus on that, but you'll see that the XF for extra flow has got a significantly bigger bore, hence the extra flow. So I was led to believe that uh, the air compressor came with standard connections, it didn't, it comes with the extra flow, the XF ones. Um, so I bought a air hose that didn't have any connectors on the end, bought my own connectors, so I'm successfully now connected from the compressor through a 10 meter cable. Um, I've actually charged the compressor up, it's up to 150 psi and I've got no leakage either at this end or at the other end I haven't used any PTF tape at all, that's just purely tightening the threads, not over tightening the threads, tightening the threads and neither end is leaking. Now the fun really begins when you get the air locker, the construction manual, nail puller, Um, a um, Allen key, which I believe is for if you have to replace the bit on the front, the Allen key goes in there to take that off and you get oil, very important. Um, so the instruction manual, to be brutally honest, doesn't really say anything at all, um, but it really is quite a simplistic tool. But the big problem that you have is that this <coughs> is an American style thread, it's the NPT thread, National Pipe Thread, which despite it being national, actually it's American. Um, it's the one that is used throughout America pretty well. Uh, so whilst there's 26 different shapes, profiles at the front here, the thread is pretty standardized in America, but we're not in America. This is for, mainly for UK viewers, and that will not go into a British standard BSP, British Standard Pipe, and there's BSPP, British Standard Pipe Parallel, and BSPT, British Standard Pipe uh, Tapered. Um, so both of these connectors here are BSPT, which is the more common one. Um, but anyway, I I couldn't buy um, I couldn't buy an XF standard um, male plug with an NPT thread on the back because they're obviously not expecting, if you're in America you use one of the American standards, if you're in Britain you use one of the British standards and I believe Europe also has its own standards as well. 
So I managed to get a converter which converts from a British standard, sorry, British standard pipe tapered to an NPT. Um, so that should just pop in the bottom there. Tighten. Don't want to over tighten it just until you feel enough resistance because you don't want to crack the crack the tool then you you, you don't fall. So I have been warned that the MPT, which is a tapered thread, does leak generally. So I'm gonna hook it up to that's now to go into my uh, air hose. One thing I forgot to mention is you want to oil your air tool um, every day, every every use really. And this particular one, they recommend five to six drops. And you just put them in the end. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And um, that just protects all the O-rings and stuff in there. So you can hook that up. Ah, I can already hear it's leaking. And if I put my hand over it, it's the MPT thread that's leaking. Okay, so we want to put some uh, we'll put some tape on that. So the secret with the thread, with the tape, is to make sure that you put it in the same, so that it's going in the same direction as how you're going to screw it into the tool. Because if you don't, it will effectively unthread itself. So, you only need to go around a couple of times. Certainly try it with a couple of times anyway. It's just really just to try and get into the thread and um, hopefully seal it. So let's try that then. Make sure none of it's sticking over the end. much, much better. It's much, much better. Part, that's, that's, um, there is a small leak there. I think I'll probably try again with another couple of layers of NPT, uh, with uh, tape on. Um, <clears throat> but that's good enough to go. Uh, it's barely, barely auditable. Barely portable. So, I want to review the tool, punch out some nails, um, I've got a bucket for it to go into, and in the bucket I've got soft materials, some toweling, so that when they go in, they don't hit the bottom, shoot back out. Um, having said that, we'd always use protection, and it's quite a noisy tool as well, especially if you're going to be doing this for, you know, a couple of hours, or an hour or whatever, I mean, I've got a lot of, awful lot of nails to knock out. Um, I would always wear ear protection as well. So let's just give this a bit of a whirl. Just wearing gloves just so that I don't get splinters.
Okay, well that was that was a lot of fun. Um, certainly an awful lot more fun than banging them out with nails with a hammer. Now, um, I would say probably about fifty percent of them uh, actually bang straight out into the bucket. Uh, the other fifty percent are so far out that uh, I'm guessing they're going to be pretty easy to remove with a hammer. Um, Because they're so far out. It's done all the hard work for me. Yeah, they're um, they're nearly all the way out. Um, and uh, that's all the way out. That's all the way out. That's all the way out. Obviously, the, the thinner pieces, by the looks of it, it was better at um, blowing the nails all the way out. Um, the slightly beefier pieces of wood, it's um, it's nearly knocked them all the way out, but it's certainly knocked them through enough for me to be able to easily get them out. And this, I mean, you know, it was the it was the work with the hammer that I didn't enjoy. Uh, but not this part of the hammer, but the uh, knocking them back through and trying to knock them straight and. Um, as you saw, hopefully uh, a couple of them were uh, crooked when I put the nail puller over the top of them and the nail puller effectively straightened them um, on the way out. So yeah, that's a really, I'm really pleased with that and hopefully you also heard that about halfway through there um, that the air compressor got low enough on, um, on pressure that it, just, it kicked in and it brought the pressure back up to, to what it needed. Um, so that's just all automatic happening in the background. Um, it, very noisy, so you'd want ear protection, but to be brutally honest, I think if you're going to do this for an hour, you'd want ear protection from, from this anyway. So hopefully that's been useful. Um, really good tool, really pleased with it. It's going to make breaking apart all those parts considerably easier. Um, and uh, if you've got any questions or any comments, please leave them in the section below. Uh, if you've got time to like the video, then fantastic, thank you very much. And if you've got time to subscribe to the channel, even better. And in the meantime, stay safe.